Hey guys, Brick Artemis here and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to do a video about my top 10 favorite Lego ideas sets of all time. Let's go ahead and get started, get your popcorn ready, but before we do, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, really getting involved in the community and it has been awesome. And thanks to you guys, we have passed 100, we are at about 127 as I'm filming this right now. So thank you guys so much. And uh, yeah, but let's go ahead and hit that intro. All right guys, so before we get on with number 10, just keep in mind, this is my list, my top 10 list of my favorite Lego ideas sets. Uh, but I would love to hear what your all's is down in the comments below, or if you guys made a video in the past or plan to in the future, please let me know so I can watch it and be a part of your channel as well. So let's go ahead and get started with number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have the Friend Central Perk Lego Ideas set. It came out in 2019 with 1,070 pieces and had seven awesome minifigures all the friends of course along with gunther who works at central perk which was a lot of fun if you wanted to play out some scenes or kind of decorate your lego set kind of like the show would have been and at first release in the u.s 59.99 was not a bad deal at all with as the amount of detail in this set you couldn't ask for more for the price range so yeah this definitely had to make the top 10 list i do figure that there has to be some kind of sitcom on everybody's top 10 uh, Lego ideas list. I just so happen to be a Friends fan more so than Seinfeld or The Office, so I chose Friends. All right, number nine is the Globe Legos idea coming in at $199.99. The Globe might have been a repetitive build, but it definitely looks amazing. With 2,585 pieces, it definitely looks beautiful on anyone's shelf. And good news to everybody watching this video as of 2023, the Globe came out in 2022. So that means that this is still on the shelves at any Lego store. So make sure to go out and get it. At number eight, we have the Steamboat Willie. Now the Steamboat Willie is one that I unfortunately passed up while it was out, but for $89.99, us dollars i still to this day can't believe that i did it must have just been a time where i just wasn't getting legos anymore for a little while or something but this is one that i look back on and i really wish that i would have bought it because now it's well over a hundred dollars which still isn't bad i can find it for about 140 to 160 so i could still go out and pull the trigger but anyways at 751 pieces this is definitely such a cute set with two beautiful minifigures that you see here. It is all black and white, just like the original episode or mini movie that came out back in the day. Now, this Lego set did come out in April of 2019, so it is a retired set once again. But definitely, if you can pull the trigger and find it somewhere, whether it's eBay or in maybe a local uh, Lego store nearby. Definitely go out and buy this set. It is a beauty. And at number seven, we have the amazing, awesome typewriter where you can actually type. I know it's crazy. And I, I don't mean just pushing on the the keys and all of that. I mean, actually type on paper and make a letter or write a letter or a story, whatever you want to do. You can actually type with this thing. Okay. It came out in 2021. So you can still buy this, uh, whether it's through lego.com, any online store or at any store in general, well, Lego store. Usually I see it up there on the shelves. It has 2,079 pieces and usually runs for about $199.99 US. With all that you can do with this thing and all the detail within it and how awesome it looks on one shelf, it definitely had to be on my top 10.
At number six, we have the old fishing store. Now, this is the second one on the list that I have never been able to build myself, but I did see this one in person built, which was pretty amazing, and I am sad I passed this one up too. But it came out all the way back in September of 2017 with 2,049 pieces and for the price of about $149.99 US. I really wish they would come out with something like this again because I really want to buy this thing. And if you shop online right now, you're looking at a lot of money. With all the detail and all the love that they put in this and growing up fishing with my father and grandfather a lot, this is one I wish I could go back and buy. Now, I don't have this, but with everything that I've said, it definitely made the top 10. All right, into the top five. And number five being Sonic the Hedgehog, the Green Hill Zone, one of my favorite sets that I built in 2022, came out in 2022. With 1,125 pieces, I had a blast building this set with all the pixels and Sonic the Hedgehog minifigure and Dr. Eggman and the enemies and the boxes that you could change out from the, the speed box to the coins to the shield and all of that was just so much fun. Collecting the emeralds after every bag. It would have been cool to have a Super Sonic involved with this, but hey, it is what it is. I love the detail in this with the water and all of that. Guys, this was an amazing Lego Ideas set, and I hope they do more like it, which, oh, by the way, there will be more Sonic Lego sets in the future as they have announced a Lego theme for Sonic, which I am extremely excited for. But yeah, the loop, Dr. Eggman, all the coins and everything with the spring was just pretty cool. Coming in at number four is the Motorized Lighthouse. Now, this is not the first lighthouse that has ever come out for LEGO, but it definitely, in my opinion, is the best. Came out back in 2022 for $299.99 with 2,065 pieces and two minifigures. Of course, this one is still on shelves, so go get it because it is magnificent it's beautiful there's so much detail so much you can do with this thing so many little gadgets and just love that they put into this lego ideas set and i just can't believe how many good lego sets we have gotten with the ideas theme and as i said in a previous video i grew up in a house of people that love lighthouses i went to a cottage a lot right next to a lighthouse or a few lighthouses on the lake and so it definitely has a nostalgic feel for me. Um, you know, I love any movie that has lighthouses in it. But yeah, this is just really cool. I feel like this Lego set within all the ideas that we talked about so far really tells a story more than any other. Pirates of Barracuda Bay definitely has to be top three coming in at 2,545 pieces, $200 US at first release, coming out in 2020, is definitely my favorite pirate ship and is part of the LEGO Ideas theme. With 10 awesome minifigures that you will never forget and such a cool looking set with a cool looking island, just everything about this set, I mean, it comes with cannonballs, cannons, everything that you can think of on a pirate ship in an island. It comes with, I love this set so much. Um, can't wait to get my hands on this again. It is a 16 and up set. I really enjoy it. Whether you want to be like a kid and, and play with this thing over and over and over again and come up with your own stories of being a pirate or have it set up on a shelf or a cool display area, this set can really be for anybody who is into the pirate theme. Coming in at number two is the NASA Apollo Saturn V. Now this sucker is 
quite a show. I mean, you walk in and see this and you're like, wow. Came out in 2017 with, this is cool, 1,969 pieces, which is also 1969, which is also the year that we went to the moon. So that's pretty cool that they put that in there. It does come with three minifigures, which I think is kind of a letdown. I'm not a fan of the minifigures that come with this set. I could be the only one that thinks that, but I don't think it's for the minifigures. This set is definitely, definitely, definitely for the spaceship itself, for the rocket itself. And for that alone, it is just perfection now i'm not saying that everybody should agree with me on putting this at number two but i do feel like this should be and would be in everybody's top 10 comment down below if it's not but i believe that it will and it should be i mean with all the detail in this and how awesome it looks if you're a fan of space and or history this is definitely for you and for it to only cost 120 dollars us what a steal all right, guys, moving on to number one. All right, guys, not only is Home Alone House my favorite Legos ideas set, it is also one of the most fun times I've ever had building a set. Now, I'm not saying it's my favorite set of all time, but it's definitely my favorite set that I've ever put together. I had the most fun it's not the greatest display, although it is a great display, especially around the holidays. But I, I once again had so much fun building this. This set came out November 1st of 2021, so not very old. You can still find it on shelves. And it comes with 3,955 pieces with five awesome minifigures. With Marv, Harry, Kevin McAllister, the mom, and the neighbor. There's so much you can do with this. And not only did it come with the house, but it came with the van and it came with the tree house behind it. Now, what makes this even cooler is that it has all the pranks inside of it as well. And so many Easter eggs from not only the first movie, but the second movie. So you have the paint jugs dropping down the stairs. You have the iron falling on top of Marv's head, which is hilarious. You have the furnace that kevin is so scared of during the movie and it opens up like a dollhouse man so much detail all the rooms that you can think of that are in the movie i love looking at this and thinking of the family running up and down the stairs at the beginning of the movie during their little pizza party but guys for 300 dollars this is definitely somewhat expensive but for all that you get with it and if you can come up with the money i definitely recommend you buying this set it is a must-have for any fan of lego any fan of any christmas movies and that want to get into that spirit during the holidays i highly recommend this set all right everyone well there you have it what do you guys think of my top 10 i don't know i i love my top 10 uh, i love the lego ideas it's one of my favorite themes i think it's really cool how you know, people can kind of chip in and, and say, yeah, let's make this a thing and we can all kind of come together and support something. So it's a really cool thing to do. I love the ideas theme. Guys, please send me your favorite down below in the comment section. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. We have a ton of stuff coming. And y'all, until next time, keep breaking.